Hello, today I speak with uh, uh, a pure uh, motorsport man, uh, uh, a man who enjoys racing and uh, he seems to racing anything and uh, also enjoying it. Uh, he uh, rallies are his favorite and he's a uh, Greek, but uh, he's international. So uh, it was like it, it was like uh, God sent uh, that uh, trophy for you because <laughs> there was only one year you you took that uh, trophy and uh, it, it's a world title no matter what it's a world title yeah so so the point with the, the trophy was that the trophy um, was with the old WRC cars which were still quite expensive uh, to, 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 to get and uh, um, with a performance that was at that, that year okay, but just the year after, the R5 cars were already very close to that, to that level. So the reasons to do a trophy with that type of car were not anymore present. And that's why they stopped. Also because we were six people, six drivers only into that competition. Yeah. Not so bad people, huh? like uh, Prokop, like uh, Gorban, yes, yes. like uh, uh, Bertelli started also. Uh, but all these guys, and Raoul, they, all those guys, they made mistakes from the beginning. Uh, Al Raji, uh, those guys are not so bad. Huh? Uh, they have a good level. At and they are level. experienced. And they are Ex and a lot experienced. And much more experienced than, than me. Uh, but okay. Uh, yeah, our. I had God with me. <laughs> yes, you had, uh, and uh, it 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 concluded a period of uh, uh, really. I I think it was stressful and tiring for you, because from 2014 and uh, 2017 till 2017 you you were following WRC. Uh, you were uh, rallying in uh, in uh, Benelux, in uh, Belgium and uh, Holland. I, I don't know. I think Belgium, uh, Belgium and 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 a few and few and Acropolis mainly and few uh, rallies in Greece. So I remember we have uh, talked a bit uh, uh, in that uh, uh, time, and you were really tired. <laughs> you were <laughs> uh, and you were thinking about uh, uh, you know stop. Stop doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, WRC events are extremely uh, difficult um, if you, have, you are not in a good uh, condition. Uh, even in 2017, I was not top in top conditions. Then I lost uh, four or five kilos, and I started to be much more accurate for that, those, those uh, competitions. But I decided also to stop uh, WRC because, first of all, it was extremely expensive, and also because I could not win anything else uh, except uh, except what. So, uh, for instance, I did two events with the WRC car. Uh, with them sport, one in Germany and one in Australia. And again, I, I had a, a very good results as top 10 in, in Australia. But I cannot, go, I was in the team with Ogier and, um, and Suninen. And uh, I, I, I said to myself, well, uh, I think Evans was there as well. And I, I said to myself, well, those guys, they, they are. They are doing so many things, uh, and they do this from Monday to Sunday, uh, all the days. Me, I'm just like a tourist uh, there, <laughs> because I arrive, um, maybe I'm preparing, uh, because I did two, two tests before with them sport, but uh, they do much more. They do much, much more. So you cannot compare the preparation from a professional guy and from a tourist like me. And then you are in the same race with the same car. The fans, they say, well, Jordan, what are you doing? You are three seconds per kilometer from, from Roger and, and Suninen. Yes, but uh, uh, first of all, those guys are 30 years old. I'm 55. <laughs> and, 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 and then they are professionals. They do that all the time. And me, I do that as a, as a, hobby, as a hobby. So uh, 
And then the people say, well, what are you doing, Jourdan? And I told them to myself, what are you doing, Jourdan, as well? You did it, uh, you're a rally man, of course, and uh, you haven't realized it in uh, in uh, earlier age to, to start uh, this career maybe <laughs> somehow earlier. Yeah. What did you do when you were younger? I was rally. playing football. <laughs> playing football. Um, yeah, football. first of all, athletic, uh, well, until 18 years old. And then I, I passed through to football yeah. until 42. So uh, I play a lot uh, of uh, football. And then, yes, uh, rally, I started at, at 48 years old. So extremely yes. late. <laughs> extremely <laughs> I mean, late. Uh, this, the, uh, this must be another record for you because it's uh, really late. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you did it like... Uh, Uh, you came like a hurricane, how can I say it? Because you, you started in the top level from the beginning and that was, that was the, the most impressive uh, for us. First of all, for us in Greece, we didn't know about you. We didn't yeah, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we saw a Greek flag uh, in some rallies outside of here. <laughs> and it was a big <laughs> surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay, I, I did some rallies before um, uh, with a small car uh, on the Civic first and then uh, uh, the Fiesta R2. So uh, I learned to drive with the Fiesta R2. Um, and uh, you, you cannot start from zero and go to the WRC. Uh, but okay, it was still extremely fast and without all the, 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 the techniques, all the, the car control and all the, 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 the skills to, to, to do this. But um, okay, uh, Steam, I'm very proud and happy of what I have done until 2017. And, and even if um, I'm, I have to compare myself from 2017, where I, I was WRC trophy uh, champion, and for instance, last year, the last race that I did in Greece, uh, the progression is extremely big. Yes, it is. Uh, and my co-driver, who is also is a professional co-driver, uh, Fred Miklot, he said, the way you drive now, uh, compared to what you did uh, two, three years before, on gravel, no comparison. So, uh, are you a challenger for the title here in Greece uh, this uh, year? <laughs> uh, I, I would like to do it, yes. Uh, that's still my, my objective here. Yeah. Um, of course, the approach from the Greek drivers of a, of a, of a, of a rally is a little bit different of what we do uh, in, in uh, WRC, for instance. Because what do you mean? The, the, the preparation is so, so strong, uh, and, and especially from uh, um, the champion. Um, the guy is so concentrated on, on his objective and doing so much testing, training, uh, that uh, uh, it's extremely difficult. And also the guy is also extremely experimented. Yes, it and is. He, is, yes. he started uh, his career. I didn't know what was a rally, and he was already in WRC at that time. Um, and so he's good, and he's, so, he's good, the guy. So with this kind of preparation, very difficult to compete. Uh, uh, the best I could do was half a second of, uh, per kilometer uh, from him. But okay, a rally is... You have to do it. You, you cannot win before you, you pass the podium. <laughs> yes. And so um, there are still opportunities, there are still possibilities, and uh, we'll try to do it. Yeah. A part of uh, champion, you may become, I don't know, uh, hopefully for you, uh, you are an ambassador for Greece. Uh, I suppose uh, we, we saw some uh, uh, foreign drivers to come here in uh, Greek rallies. Uh, Sebastian Bedore uh, came here, and I think that you had you had a lot to do with this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, but uh, I think and uh, some other also some other entries from uh, Belgium uh, that yes. were were scheduled to come, and the COVID situation uh, struck us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
So, do you feel as an ambassador? You, what is the, the interest uh, in uh, in foreign rallies you go and uh, competing? Is there any interest in for Greek motorsport? Yeah, well, the people in Belgium uh, uh, that we that are also drivers, they are very interesting to to, to understand what is. What are the, the rallies in, in Greece? Uh, of course, uh, when I said uh, to them uh, what I've done in Greece, I said, well, the, the stages are fantastic. The weather is fantastic. The welcome from Greece, it's unique. Uh, it's, but the, the way I do it, the way I do a rally in Greece, it's short, so I mean, I arrive on Friday, I do the, the, the Reiki, and on Sunday I drive. So it's short. Uh, and well, it's like a heaven for them. Uh, because also if they want to do, to do a gravel uh, rally, it's not in Belgium, they have to go in France. Mm -hmm. But in France, uh, also the, the, the way they do it's Again, very difficult com to be co uh, in competition with the French because you do only one pass with your rally car, with your rally car, one pass. So you have to take the note, one pass, and then you have the, the rally immediately, the day itself. So it's extremely difficult to compete with the French people that know very well those rallies. So if they want to start, they will be destroyed. By, by the by the, by the yes, country. Yes, yes. So they prefer to to go far, like in Greece, and um, have the top stages because the stages from Greece are fantastic, indeed. And um, and of course they can prepare themselves a little bit uh, uh, better. So okay. are, are we going to see more Belgians this year? Do you know anything to, yeah, to but say? But they ask, Bedore uh, asked me the, the, the program, so it, I think he's interested to do more rally uh, uh, in Greece. Uh, we'll see most probably also Philippe Pic, who is a uh, customer from uh, G Motorsport, and we'll have maybe uh, two, three uh, uh, rallies in Greece uh, this year. Maybe other ones, uh, I don't know yet. No, nothing confirmed yet. Nothing uh, confirmed. Philippe Pic is confirmed. Mm -hmm. uh, Bodoré is not yet confirmed. Okay. But uh, maybe he will come, yeah. Okay, so uh, you talked about uh, the stages. Uh, let's talk about Acropolis. I don't know what do you know about Acropolis Rally for this year. And uh, I would like to know what you have shared. Uh, but I'm hearing that we are, I know that we are a substitute event. And uh, maybe we are we are on uh, uh, some uh, at some point of the year, uh, depending on COVID situation, of course. Uh, we want we all, all want uh, that so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Acropolis Rally means uh, a lot for us in Greece. Uh, what does it mean for you? But well, okay, for me. I did it in 2000, in, in ERC, the last ERC event. Yeah. Uh, I was seventh mm -hmm. overall, and I had maximum of fun uh, there, maximum of fun. You have done uh, only ERC Acropolis. You haven't done any WRC Acropolis. No, because it was <laughs> in 2012, and I was not yet starting at that time. Uh, yes. Uh, so. Yeah. So the, the opportunity to have it uh, this year or the next uh, year, the 22, it's uh, really good for you, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, really a top, a top uh, objective. Yes. And uh, are you going to to uh, rally with uh, what car? Do you have in mind? Do you have in yes, schedule? Of course. If it if Acropolis is is uh, scheduled this year or next year, I will do it most probably with Unsport and uh, or maybe Hyundai, uh, uh, but uh, most probably with Unsport uh, okay. with the Rally One car. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a, a good relationship with my M Sport, I suppose. Yes. Okay, Malcolm. Malcolm. Uh, uh, He's a top guy, a gentleman, 
a very good businessman, uh, someone who knows the, the, the rally better than anyone else, I think. Um, and he's also always enthusiastic to have uh, uh, people interesting into uh, his team and uh, his car. Okay, he's doing the business, huh? but uh, um, at the moment you are in the team, you are extremely well welcomed and you get the same service as at that time it was Auger. Uh, you get the top service even if you are fourth driver in the team, you get exactly the same conditions as the three other ones. So um, you are in the best conditions to do a, a, a top results. Then, of course, it's uh, about uh, the preparation. It's about uh, the, the capacities. Uh, it's but okay. Acropolis is something that I know quite well, and it, which is ex for me, it's this. Exactly the kind of, of rally which is suited to, to my skills. So, because yes. it's also a rough, it's rough. So, um, uh, you are not doing 200 kilometers per hour uh, uh, in the stages like uh, in Finland or uh, in, uh, in, in Estonia uh, or in Poland. So, uh, I, like, I like those stages. You have uh, the, driven a lot of uh, many cars and mostly new ones, I mean, rally cars, you know. Uh, is there any favorite for you? I mean, uh, Fiesta 2017, it's a great car. Is, is one of your favorites? Or do you have any other favorite? Okay, it's a very performing car, but the, the, the one which I am the more comfortable with is the Skoda. Skoda. Uh, and uh, I was very comfortable with the R5 Evo and the Evo 2, uh, I love the car as well. I love the car because it's more powerful, uh, a little bit more nervous, but still, uh, I love that car. Uh, you enter the car, you feel so well, everything is so normal. And ready to, to drive and ready to drive, exactly, ready to drive. And it is valid for asphalt or for gravel. Um, the, the Fiesta WRC, um, in Germany, we had some issues to, to find the best setup. Uh, the car was bumping a little bit too much and we, we, we had not yet enough testing before to, to adapt to, the, to that car, which is really different than the other ones. On gravel, it was less the, the, the issue. Uh, I, I think on, 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 on gravel in Australia, we found something which was quite uh, in good, except the last day, because the last day, I don't know if you remember, it was raining a lot. And then yes. it's like on ice, you are driving on ice. Uh, I think Suninen, Tanak and, and Neuville uh, went off. Uh, yes, that yes. day, uh, on, on the last day, it was uh, uh, a nightmare. I, I remember Lapi, Esapeka Lapi, uh, just before the power stage, he, I, I was completely uh, exhausted, uh, terrified by the conditions. And he came to the, the uh, after me and he said, I don't want to drive uh, rally uh, in these conditions. <laughs> so he was exactly the same. And, and Ogier went and said, I was driving like my, my grandmother. <laughs> uh, okay, but he had, he had the scratch. <laughs> Being around uh, all those uh, guys uh, who are competing in uh, the top level of uh, World Rally Championship, do you feel uh, a bit like a, a fan watching them, uh, except of uh, a component and uh, an opponent for them? I mean, do you have any... Uh, any pro obviously you have a respect for them uh, it's yeah. obvious but do you have any uh, any fear or, or any uh, admire like, like a fan should have no no if I if I have to have an idol I would have said uh, Sebastian Loeb but uh, I never drive drive uh, uh, drove uh, against him so uh, yes uh, uh, but um, for instance, uh, Sébastien Auger, uh, uh, he was always uh, giving me advices, uh, uh, helping me uh, on the setup. Um, 
explaining like to the other uh, drivers, but maybe a little bit more with me because I'm not <laughs> against him. I was not against him I, and, and uh, I could not compete against him, but he was uh, even uh, giving me the, uh, his feelings after a stage or uh, after the rally, but especially after, after stages. And uh, that was uh, really interesting because you see someone, you know, in a way, the people, um, the journalists, they don't see him like that. Yes. So he was much more open uh, with me to explain the feelings. And uh, we passed, for instance, in Australia, we, we were together with, on, the, on the Ricky. And... Uh, uh, well, we, we, we exchange a lot of information during the rickies as well. So that was uh, very interesting. Uh, and uh, especially uh, Sébastien Angers is someone who's extremely interesting. I suppose, uh, I suppose uh, Fred, uh, your co-driver, helps a lot with this because he knows uh, uh, most of the, of the guys. He's uh, really experienced. Yeah. Uh, in Australia, I was with La Havanest. Yes. Uh, uh, but you were, you, you, were, you were happy with the, uh, I think you were, you were okay with her. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we had um, a, good, uh, a good rally uh, in Australia. It was a little bit stressful because uh, we were also opening the road. Uh, mm -hmm. And the last day, the conditions were extremely uh, difficult. But uh, she stayed uh, very calm. Um, that was uh, a good experience, let's say. Uh, so you have a, a you have a, a dream career for us uh, who are, who are, who are uh, motorsport fans. Uh, is there anything it remains a dream for you? I don't know, maybe something like uh, uh, Dakar or uh, Le Mans. I don't know uh, what would be a dream for you that uh, you you really want to do before quitting all this. Winning Acropolis. <laughs> yes, that's that, will be, that should, have, should be the top or a podium in Acropolis. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yes. But okay, if there is Acropolis, a top 10, uh, I will be uh, uh, very happy. Top 10 is a quite, it's a quite a drive to be in top 10. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, not really, <laughs> it's not really easy. Uh, even uh, this time, it's not like the, the old times. It was mm -hmm. really tough. But even in this uh, kind of uh, rallying, uh, being top 10, it's a, it needs a lot. <laughs> it needs a lot, especially because in uh, the Rally 2, uh, RX, Rally 5, no, Rally 2 um, uh, uh, Cup, there, there are a lot of young young drivers, excellent young drivers that want to come uh, fast and they want to be professional. Yes. And also, this Rally 2 car uh, is also very performant now. So uh, the, the gap between the two levels are a little bit uh, smaller now. But still, Acropolis is rough. So... Uh, uh, rally one car will be uh, better, and um, I still think we well, it will be certainly a, a, a challenge to do it. But uh, that will be my objective. Yes. Do you feel uh, motorsport in Greece? It's uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's good. We have some uh, problems, uh, as you may know, with uh, federation and uh, uh, the the you know. The, the rules and all the things and the organizing part of the rallies. Uh, we have things like that. I don't know if you know about them or uh, do you, uh, you have any interest about it, uh, but what would be your, your key points to make uh, a rallying better here in Greece from your uh, experience uh, all these years, the previous years? I don't know if it's possible, but uh, we should reduce the the, the recce uh, uh, conditions uh, for the drivers and be back to a real rally. Uh, so we, uh, 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 secret uh, uh, stages that, that uh, you, you do uh, two or three times uh, as a, as a recce and then you do the, the rest. That will help you to, to do real rally. Um, I don't know if it's possible, if the, the, the situation it, it can, can be uh, possible to, to, to do that. But for the rest, um, I always have the feeling that the organization itself 
is extremely professional and extremely good. Uh, I went to several countries uh, doing rally, uh, in France, in, in uh, Belgium, in Luxembourg, in Germany. And for me, Greece, they do extremely well. Uh, they know very well the, 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 the sport and uh, they are very accurate. For me, uh, uh, I don't have to say uh, anything against uh, at the opposite. For me, yeah. it was very good. Yes, that's a very important uh, hearing from you because uh, we Greeks, uh, maybe, you know, we have uh, the uh, domestic things <laughs> to, to arrange and uh, we, we are not so objectively uh, objective okay. on this. Maybe the domestic problems are hidden during the rally itself. And we, as, a, as a driver, we, we don't see this. Uh, yes. what, what we see is the way the people organize the event itself and, and the sport management itself. And for my point of view, uh, it's very good. But this way, I think we are going to have a more uh, more entries, maybe with uh, with uh, secret stages, as you said, yeah. as you described it, and a few passes before the rally. I think we are going to raise a lot the the entries for the for our rallies, yeah. because yeah. we have, as be you better. said, as you said, you have we have great stages. Yes. yes. So a lot, uh, a lot and great. A lot and great. Yes, and a lot of uh, tarmac also. I don't know uh, if you know, but uh, we have also a great tarmac uh, stages. Yeah, I, I did once um, in uh, Fiotidos, I think. Yes, the, in La Mia. Oh, yeah, in La Mia. But okay, uh, the way, the, also the, the the approach of the drivers uh, and the type of cars that they are, they are using. It's more circuit. We are, we are, we are yes, close to yes, circuit. Yes, totally. Totally. But, uh, you know, no, not many people uh, here understand that. I don't know. I don't know why, because they are experienced, as you said. Uh, but yes, it's a like circuit approach and it's, uh, of course, uh, not uh, really good. And it's uh, uh, the, the most important for me, it's dangerous. This Doing this in uh, rally is dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite dangerous. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Uh, it, it's like a, a different sport. Yes, it is a different sport, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, exactly. I have nothing against, but I say uh, they are doing something else. <laughs> you are so true, yes, that, that's it. Yes, it. So thank you very much, uh, Jordan, for this interview. It was uh, it was really a fun time for me. It, it was honor for me. Thank you very much. Uh, we will speak when you come here. <laughs> I yes. hope see you uh, close. And uh, any luck, uh, good luck uh, with your uh, 21 uh, uh, rallies here in Greece. Thank you very much. And I hope to see all of you uh, very soon. The fans are waiting, uh, also, yeah. the, also the opponents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank Good. you very much. Bye. Thank you, Satis. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.